So Gork is building a layer one blockchain, so an independent sovereign blockchain. Um, we are leveraging consensus technology that is built by, you know, sort of the, the original proof of stake chain, which is Cosmos. And our goal the entire time has been to bring the entire world's economy, all the ways that people cooperate, the diverse kinds of market behavior they have, and enable bringing that online safely. The framework is not about mouse clicks and rendering, which is important, and we certainly support that, but it's about escrow and pricing and transactions and enabling interesting business structures with digital assets uniformly working across fungible, non-fungible, and semi-fungible tokens. That's the framework that Agoric is building. What's, and what's unique about it is it enables smart contracts to be accessible to the 10 million programmers out there that already know how to program JavaScript. And then it's not just being able to program in JavaScript, but being able to program in a modern programming framework. You know, DeFi Legos, pluggable components. And we can approach, you know, programmers that are outside of crypto, and instead of sort of everyone arguing over the same really expensive programmer, um, uh, you know, we can now we can now make it available to a much much broader range of people, you know, of, of developers sort of worldwide. And so the reason why you you asked about about are there other JavaScript blockchains and why isn't this used everywhere? Where well, there have been efforts to do JavaScript on a blockchain, but without having the 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 techniques and the expertise to be able to lock it down, mm. JavaScript is too malleable. Right. I said build fast, earn fast. That provides a build fast slide. But the goal is smart, safe, rapid construction of smart contracts that run in a stable economy. That's what we're providing to enable the world's developers to start to move into crypto in a, in a bigger way, to enable mainstream developers. And if you can build a banking application, you can build a decentralized one. From our perspective, right, if, if, if a blockchain is basically a new computer made out of agreement rather than out of silicon, this is a distributed protocol, so lots of computers can communicate with each other, including blockchains and non-blockchains. Right? In the early documents like the Agoric Open Systems Papers in 1988, there was this envisioned world of software agents creating and participating in markets, acting on behalf of people, enabling new kinds of cooperation. And we're still, every day, with this kind of technology that we're building, enabling more kinds of cooperation between people, and that's sort of what, what the big goal is.